Hey everybody and welcome back to Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. I'm Oz, Jack and Ladies Gentlemen, Lake Jackson. So this one's coming from my little galley kitchen. To prove that you can do this in just about any kitchen, I guess. Again, it's coming up on 4th of July, so this might actually come out on 4th of July. Who knows? So it's just a cheap, easy, American, mostly Texas thing. Uh, again, this is the one I'm touching on because uh, I did it before. My friend Slider told me about it. I did how my grandfather used to do it. And then this is going to be as close to his as possible. I'm not going to do it exactly like his. I'm trying to make it as Texas as possible. So, who knows? A lot of this stuff is optional, so just do it how it makes you feel. But this is great. Again, all this stuff came from HEB. Shout out to them people. Uh, I feel sorry for everybody that doesn't have HEBs in their eh, state or whatever. But this is where we got our thing for this one. So, again, shout out for that. Hey, give us, like, a sponsorship. That'd be cool. Like, we like using your stuff, and your budget actually works really well. Before we get into it, be sure to like, share, subscribe, get to the little YouTube bell down in this corner, get notifications when we do these as close to Tuesdays and Fridays as possible. Also, there's a link down in the doobly doo for our merch, like my apron and stuff I'm not wearing, mostly because I'm wearing another T melon shirt. Because uh, <laughs> I ran into the store and I want to freak out the normals. And then uh, we got the spoon spatulas, all kind of stuff, small business. This is taking too long, and let's just get into the food, man. Okay, nice simple one here. You're going to need some of this pork and beef sausage. This is the uh, jalapeno sausage that I was told to find. I don't know if this is the right brand, but this works. Uh, Slider was telling me about this stuff, so just get you, the, you know, any kind of Lincoln sausage works, but the jalapeno sausage works great. Get you some H-E-B brand. Come on, focus. Uh, <laughs> Baracho beans. That's the one that's got the, the Shiner beer, and it's very much Texas, so you get the big one. It's the 16 or whatever. And then optional, I'm going to add a little extra jalapeno and some extra onions just because I can. Uh, again, optional to you guys. Don't have to use them if you want. I'm only going to use like half an onion. I think that's actually like technically a quarter of an onion. First things first, wash your vegetables. Once you get them nice and washed, we're going to go ahead and cut these up. Again, it's optional. You can fast forward past this. Always cut off and leave the stem and get rid of the stem. Now, you can take it, cut it lengthways, and then cut it wideways. I just like using these rounds. Uh, I don't devein them or whatever, especially for a jalapeno because it's not that spicy to me. Now, if you're dealing with somebody else that uh, can't handle spice, A, leave it out. B, if you're going to have to do it just for the flavor, go ahead and pull out all the veins. The veins is where all the capsaicin sits in a uh, in a jalapeno. So if you want to get that oil out and the spicy out, get rid of the veins of the seeds. Okay, uh, onion again. You can grab it by the wide part and cut it from the skinny part. Be very very careful doing it this way. Uh, the only reason I did that is just it's just a little too thick on one side. Just pull it apart. I just like using the rounds except for the big part that'll explode, disappear. Ta da! Uh, or you can just take this now that little root piece right there in the middle where everything joins. Just go ahead and tear that out, call him all, and just <laughs> rip the heart of that out. Now I'll just leave it in the rounds with the stuff that I'm going to cook. I'm going to cut down into smaller pieces. Just run a nice sharp knife. Shout out to Andy. Uh, get a nice sharp knife. Cut those down into small pieces. We're going to cook that along with everything else. Okay. So, uh, again, a rings to one side, jalapenos to one side, and then your slice. Now, you get your... Uh, your sausage links here you can just cut the the ends here together you can cut them down into simple pieces uh again if you're going to serve this to smaller people uh children and stuff like that uh you might want to cut it where you're not just leaving it round like this or if you're worried about people who might choke on it or whatever because they're too excited or they're too hungry or whatever uh cut it into smaller pieces but i just cut it into the rounds and cook it down that way uh and then get to the end just turn and just do an edge of the side because you don't want to overstress it and accidentally cut yourself again uh if i didn't say it before in the intro or whatever and this is a shout out to my buddy Sly, who used to do this, uh, who reminded me how my grandfather used to do it. That's why you did the previous video. I could probably put a link in there. Jack will put it up for you. And, but a shout out to Sly for reminding me to do this stuff. So get you a decent skillet, turn it about medium, medium high, and let it start getting warm. Okay. Uh, I don't put any uh, oil and stuff in the bottom of this one, mostly just because I'm going to add everything on it relatively quickly. So you want to start off and just put your small pieces of onion and your jalapeno if you're going to use those. Again, optional. Don't have to do that. You can just skip that part. Uh, completely, which I accidentally skipped later. And then right on top of that is your sausage. Okay. Uh, again, make sure your meat touches the metal occasionally, but you're not going to cook it a whole lot. Like I said, I just turned this on. Uh, the sausage is already cooked, so you're basically just reheating it. Had a scene missing. I thought I was filming when I dumped my big can of beans in it, but I didn't do anything special. I just dumped it on top. I'm sorry. Please trust me on that. So I'll get you a nice wooden spoon. Give it a little bit of a stir here. Be gentle with it. You don't want to smash all your beans and end up looking like refried beans and stuff when you turn it over. Because the beans themselves and the sausage you're already cooked. We're basically just reheating those. So you got to be careful with that. Uh, your onion and your uh, your jalapeno, if you add those, will cook as uh, as you're going and cook down. So you're going to put it in here for about five minutes, all right, and just keep stirring it. Not a steady, constant stir, but like, every, you know, every minute or minute and a half. So just give it a little turn, put the meat down there, let it get cooked, and it, or heat it up, and then let your vegetables get cooked a little bit. I'm going to put it in for about 12, 13 minutes, but I do it in five-minute increments here just to show you guys. So, and then if you want to add salt or something else, I know my father immediately reaches for the salt no matter what I serve him. So, 
<laughs> that's what you're going to look for here. This is after 10 minutes. You can see how steam it is. Now, after the 10 minutes, I go ahead and turn it down. And I put it down on a simmer for two to five minutes at the most, right? Just let it simmer and get this stuff in here, especially if you're adding anything else, uh, like that jalapeno uh, paste that I use on a lot of stuff for salt or pepper or whatever you're going to add. This is when we will do it. Be an eye out for that piece of there. It's kind of big. But after you've got it in there, let it simmer for a couple of minutes. Everything's going to be cooked. Everything's going to be heated up. You'll be ready to go. Uh, so... Again, this is after 13 minutes. This is after two or three minutes of simmer. Uh, so you're set. You can even see my serving bowl over the side. I'm so waiting for it. So kill the heat. Remove it from heat so you don't want it to cook on the bottom. The residual heat will keep keep it warm for quite a while. Okay? But that's it. This one's done. Uh, this was well under our budget. This served me at least three different meals. Uh, so that would be a family of four or six could probably eat this for relatively, uh, you know, a one good meal. A big setting that way. Uh, Sly does this over... Uh, like a cook fire he's amazing with that stuff i wish he'd come and do some videos i guess i'm just gonna have to take my camera and stuff and go to his camp with his permission and do some of this great stuff he does this for like the sea stuff he does it for amp guard but he's got some great ideas in cooking so you got to try this one it works really well for me meal prep it's sausage stuff that's already cured and cooked so as long as you keep it sealed in a container somewhere you're good for a couple of days but yeah if you do it differently you want to see us do it differently or your hgb and you're trying to reach out and like here have some money please let us know and there you have it, folks. This is an awesome food. Again, thanks to my buddy Sly for telling me how to do this one. Uh, again, I apologize to him because I probably didn't do it exactly the way he did, but I very much enjoy this. It's filling, it's great, it stretches, and it's, again, from all our HEB stuff, and it's well under 10 bucks. It's great for, like, meal prep, like, you can cook it, put it in whatever, and <laughs> reheat it later. Just the smell of jalapeno and awesome will make everybody jealous of your food. So, uh, yeah, try this out. If you do it differently and want to see us do it different, let me know. Put it down in the doobly-doo, or down in the comments below the doobly-doo. That means the description because I'm speaking YouTube now. Because <laughs> this is almost our 400th recipe, it's like our 407th video. Uh, but we're close to our 400 recipe thing. I want to do something special for that. So, if you got ideas for that, let me know. You can also find us on social media and tell us how bad this is, or how you do it, or an, an idea for the next one, or 400th, or something special. And you can find us on Facebook, Pinterest, Patreon, with all those at Live Between Paychecks Kitchen. You can also find us on Instagram at Live Between. Hit a short it down over there. But it's just us on everything. Everything is under 10 bucks. If my dumbass can cook it, anybody can. You can also find me, speaking of which, on all of those as well, where I do my little nerdy uh, stuff, arts and painting and action figure collecting and stuff. But you can find me on all those and including TikTok, which I'm just doing some comic and LARP stuff over there, and uh, on Twitter for now, just to keep track of the companies that still put out their action figure stuff over there. So I will see y'all next time. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy a safe 4th of July. And remember, try to keep all your digits. Y'all be safe. I'll see y'all.